Welcome to the EGA Online Studio Class Dynamic Duo Bracelets. I'm Carla G, the designer and teacher for this class, and I'm really looking forward to our time together. These online bonus lessons are little tips I've found that I thought might be useful to you. For lesson one, we're going to be talking about helpful tips when beading, or what some call off-loom bead weaving. When starting most projects, it's important to add a stop bead or some kind of device to keep the beads from falling off. When beginning the beading part of this lesson, you will prepare the thread and thread up your needle as indicated in the directions. Notice we are using a single thread. Out of your kit, you can use a size 11 seed bead or if you have a larger bead on hand, that's fine too. Needle on the bead and slide the bead toward the tail, leaving the tail length as indicated in the directions. Take the needle and run it through the back side of the bead, the end where the tail is exiting, trying not to pierce the thread as you run the needle through the bead. If you can feel the tip scraping the side of the bead, that will help. Pull the thread snug, holding the bead in place as you pull. You will notice that the bead is not entirely stable and will move if tugged. This will not remain part of your work, so you, don't want, you want to be able to remove it as easily as when you finish. Try to be aware that, to keep the tail length intact. As with other beadwork, there's lots of gizmos and tools out there. This one is called the bead stopper, and you can clip it onto your thread at the same place you would place the stop bead. As you can see, you spring open the spring and place, it, place the thread in between the spring. One idea that I've been partial to over the years is a little copper clip I get at Radio Shack. There may be other sources, but that's where I found them. They're called micro one and one eighth inch smooth clip. The jaws of the clips are smooth and not are apt to cut your thread as an alligator clip. And they're easy to put on and come in a package of 10 so you can share. Adding and ending a thread. These basics can also be found on page 5 of the introductory material. If you've done any stitching before, you know you're eventually going to have to end the old working thread and begin a new one. As you can see, it's time to end the working thread. It's important to leave at least 2 inches. I usually add my new working thread first. Set aside the old working thread and thread up another needle using the same length of thread as before. Run the new thread into your beadwork at least one bead unit back. Run it up through several beads, leaving about an inch tail. The tail can be trimmed off later. Take the needle and run it under the thread that runs between two beads, creating a small loop in the thread. Run the needle through the loop. Try to keep the tail thread under your thumb to keep the tension tight so the knot will not come undone. Now pull the loop closed, making sure it's tight. The knot should pop into the bead hole as you continue. Now continue to run the new working thread through your work, heading back toward the exit point of the old working thread. Make sure you're following the thread path. As you are traveling back, Create one more knot in your work between two larger beads, not the size 15 seed beads. Exit where the old working thread exits and continue beading with the new working thread. Make sure you keep the old working thread away from the stitching. After you have beaded several units, it's now time to go back and end the old working thread. You'll notice I've run the old thread into my work a little way, so it's exiting between two larger beads. Make sure to pull all the thread tight.
note that my stop bead is still on. I like to keep it on for a while to maintain tension. Once everything is tight, run the needle under the thread that runs between two beads. Create the loop as before and run the needle through the loop. Pull tight. Run the needle up through your work. Create another knot and run through the work some more. Exit the thread between two beads. Taking a sharp pair of scissors with a point, slip the old working thread into the scissors and clip as shown. It helps to pull on the work and push on the scissors to keep tension when stitching. Be careful not to cut the threads running between the beads. This is easy to do if you poke the scissor points too far down. Thank you for visiting with me today. This concludes Lesson 1. Join me next time for Lesson 2, Wirelux. Basic.